So CES is in full swing in Las Vegas and Nvidia has made its keynote announcements. Now at the very end of the presentation it announced the uh, Project Digit Mini PC. That's right, it announced a mini PC. It's got a new processor in it called the GB10 from Nvidia itself. Now if you want to find out more, please let me explain. Okay, so let's dive into the Nvidia Project Digits, digits will explain what all that means in a moment. The key thing is here it features a new chip, the NVIDIA GB10, that's the Grace Blackwell super chip. And of course, NVIDIA have got you know, the GB100, the GB200 for that stuff it uses for its AI uh, supercomputers. This is what we're looking at. We're looking at a mini uh, PC. It can be used as a, a workstation, or of course it can be used, you know, connected remotely, remote desktop, secure shell, just connecting to various web services, connecting to various services that it offers for machine learning uh, and so on. And the design that uh, NVIDIA are currently showing here is it's kind of like a shrunk down version of the, the DGX kind of supercomputers or modules that they've got with all of their GPUs and so on inside of it. So Digits, what's that? We found out during the keynote that it stands for Deep Learning GPU Intelligence Training System, Digits. That was the internal name for basically all of the different systems that NVIDIA have been working on for many, many years now uh, that have resulted in, well, what the DGX system. So it was shortened from Digits to DGX to make it the same as, you know, RTX. Uh, uh, AGX uh, and so on, uh, but really it's deep learning GPU system. That's really what it means. So I don't think that this mini PC will actually be called Project Digits in the end. That's its current name. They will probably come up with something like, you know, the uh, DGX Mini or something like that. I don't know. Uh, but the key thing is it features this NVIDIA Grace Blackwell super chip, the GB10. So it offers a petaflop of AI computing performance at uh, four bits. So that's really, really quite mega powerful, for, especially for that form factor. Now it's got an NVIDIA Blackwell GPU. So that's the latest GPU uh, architecture coming out from NVIDIA with the latest CUDA cores, fifth generation uh, Tensor cores, and then it's got the NVLink chip to chip interconnect to connect to the GPU to the CPU uh, on the actual chip, something that NVIDIA uses in many of its other uh, Grace-based uh, super chips, the Grace Hopper super chips and so on. Now the CPU part is ARM-based and we'll talk more about that in a moment. And it comes with 128 gigabytes of unified coherent memory. What that means is like other systems, SOC type systems, uh, this kind of the, the memories on the chip. So it's a fixed amount of memory and they've gone with 128 gigabytes because you're going to need that if you're doing AI type uh, workloads. And then up to four terabytes of NVMe storage. There'll be different versions available with different amounts of storage. Again, I think that storage is on the chip itself. So it's kind of an SOC uh, design. Now with that amount of memory and of course if you have the storage you can run up to a 200 billion parameter large language model if you're using 4-bit quantization. Now 200 billion parameters a day when we're talking about you know running you know Llama 3.2 or something like that on you know uh, your desktop or on uh, an NVIDIA Jetson Orin or something like that, we're talking about 7 billion parameters or 3 billion parameters. So being able to run a 200 billion parameter is a whole different scale of things. And then, so that's the combination of that unified memory, 128 gigabytes of it, and then also the ability to speak very quickly to the GPU and the tensor cores to get that best performance out of that model. So the CPU is a 20 core ARM based CPU. So you get 10 Cortex X925 CPU cores. And I've got videos about the X925 here on this channel. And then you get another 10 A725 CPU cores. And again, I've got videos about that here on this channel. So it's uh, heterogeneous in the sense that you've got two different types of core, but of course they are 
uh, compatible architecturally, but the A725 uh, is slightly more power efficient, whereas the X925 gives you that maximum uh, performance. And so they've given you this 10 plus 10 setup. So a nice 20 core CPU setup along with a Blackwell GPU is certainly something to be interested in. Now, earlier I kept mentioning it's kind of an SOC design and that was important because this was made in collaboration with MediaTek. That was even said during the keynote. So MediaTek have had their input into this, the way of putting this all together, the interconnects and everything. Uh, they've worked with NVIDIA, which personally I find surprising because NVIDIA have got a big history of working with ARM-based CPUs. So there was obviously something they wanted from MediaTek, and maybe we'll get more details about that as time goes by. MediaTek have also published a press release saying they worked with NVIDIA, but thin in the details, but actually what it was that they provide, that will be interesting to find out. And it runs NVIDIA DGX OS Linux. So it's a Linux based system uh, based on Ubuntu, just like other NVIDIA AI products. And it's compatible. That means you can run all of the NVIDIA's AI stack, all the stuff you need to run, all the CUDA core programming, the Tensor Core programming, all of the things that you could run on a bigger DGX system, you can run on this because it's running the same OS. And of course, you've got an ARM CPUs and also you've got the same NVIDIA GPU. So it's compatible across the, the region. Of course, this is a smaller one. So if you put this in comparison to some of the bigger ones, the new Blackwell GPUs in their full spec out versions can offer maybe 40 times more the performance. So this is something that's not in a huge briefcase size, rack size thing. This is something that's in a mini PC, but they really have specced it out maximum specs for the size of the little box that you're getting. So there was lots of talk in 2024 about MediaTek's collaboration with NVIDIA. We knew there was a collaboration going on. And the main thrust was is because there's going to be a Windows on ARM PC from MediaTek with an NVIDIA uh, GPU. That's not what's been announced today. This is a Linux based machine that's coming purely from NVIDIA. It's not being sold by MediaTek, although MediaTek have collaborated with the design of the SOC, as I said. So is Project Digits this Windows on ARM PC? Absolutely not. This is definitely not what it is. Could it be the foundation for something like that? Maybe. If NVIDIA and MediaTek have been working together, maybe MediaTek has got some kind of deal where it can get access to these chips because normally NVIDIA chips are in NVIDIA products. There are a couple of cases where they're in other products, like for example, the Nintendo Switch. So maybe um, MediaTek and NVIDIA have got some kind of collaboration going on, but whatever it is, it won't be this configuration. This uh, is a very specific uh, configuration, 128 gigabytes of RAM. If you're selling a Windows on ARM PC, you're not going to sell it with 128 gigabytes of RAM. Maybe 64 if you wanted to be crazy. 32, 16, that kind of thing. 128, definitely not. So it's not going to be in this configuration. Uh, and there's other thing, and that's the price, which we'll talk about right now, because these boxes will be available in May of this year. So we're looking about another five months away from here and it will be sold directly from NVIDIA and NVIDIA's partners and they start at $3,000. So you're going to really want to have to want an AI machine. You can't afford a DGX rack size thing. You want something that you can do uh, AI inference on your desktop uh, and you've opted not to go down the line of an NVIDIA or AMD GPU inside of a, a beefy PC, you're going to have to fork over $3,000, which is a lot of money, particularly when you consider the price of the new M4 Mac Mini, which is quite an amazing little device. But of course, this has got the extra things, all that memory, 108 gigabytes of memory, and I'd imagine the GPU is many, many times uh, faster. But if this was going to be a Windows PC, you're not going to sell it at that price point either. No one's going to say, yeah, I'm going to abandon x86 and go over to your mini PC at three grand. That's just not going to happen. So it will be interesting to see what uh, unfolds. But in terms of AI products, 
This is absolutely amazing. 20 core CPU, Blackwell GPU, 128 gigabytes of RAM, all in a mini PC running uh, DGX OS Linux. Okay, so there we go. Project Digits, a mini PC aimed squarely at data science, machine learning, and so on. Now it's got that $3,000 price tag. Love to hear what you think. Too expensive? Actually, it's a lot cheaper than a big DGX system. Is it worth it? What about it being a stepping stone over to Windows on ARM in collaboration with MediaTek? Love to hear your thoughts on that as well. Okay, that's it. My name's Gary Sims. This is Gary Explains. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up. And if you like these kind of videos, then stick around. Subscribe to the channel. Okay, that's it. I'll see you in the next one.